Have you ever wondered why metals are magnetic and whether other things than metals can be magnetic too? Hello, my name is Leoš Valenta and I'm a PhD student in the Jury Czech Group at the University of Zurich. And I'm going to show you that carbon can be magnetic too. The most common form of carbon encountered in everyday life is a graphite. This material can be found in a pencil. Graphite is made out of many layers of graphene, which gives the pencil the ability to leave a trace as you write. You can imagine graphene as an infinite sheet of benzene rings. When we connect more benzene rings, we can get this molecule called antrantrine. This molecule is a common pollutant in cigarette smoke. Just by moving this one benzene ring in yellow, we get triangular shaped molecule which displays radically different properties. In fact, it is no longer possible for every electron in the molecule to be paired in a bond. These two unpaired electrons, here represented as dots, are responsible for magnetic behavior. In a similar way, unpaired electrons cause the magnetism in metals. Now you may wonder what we can use triangulin for. Unlike in metals, the magnetic moments of triangulin molecules cancel each other out in bulk material, but we can use triangulin as a single molecule magnet, and such, it might be useful as a tiny component in future quantum computers. If you want to learn more, come and visit us at the Irche campus in Zurich.